I had a couple people ask about this rug and whether this is black or what color the dark is. It is not, it looks pretty accurate. It's more of a, I would say, blackish brown, brownish black. I love this rug so much. It is not really plush, um, but it is really soft. And every day when I walk in here, I just think how pretty it looks with whites and creams. I just love it. If you like warm tones, this is it. I just did tons of stories that weren't even recording. I was just gonna say, are they recording? <laughs> um, Deb went to get her, she wanted to get some grass seed for a little area out there because we don't want mud 24 seven. Um, during the summer. We want some areas with grass. So she went to do that. I think she's bringing home two ferns for out by the door. So I will show you those later. Before I go any further, I've had this issue of like my face looking so dry right in here and my makeup like creases. And I started using uh, Tula's new Prime of Your Life primer and I love it. You just put two pumps on, like I got out of the shower, and uh, put my eye, my under eye stuff, then my moisturizer, and then I put this on, and um, then I put my regular foundation on, and it seems to not settle your foundation, you know what I mean which I guess that's what primer is. It primes your skin to um, make your foundation go on smoother. And this actually makes your skin feel more hydrated. It's wonderful. Um, my code is DND for 15% off. You know I love Tula. Um, it is a doctor founded um, company and they do not test on animals. I love it. I have an entire drawer full that I use. I love it, DND. Why I got off on that, but um, I also wanted to mention this. This is one of my new favorites. Uh, this clay date, it is in this little tube, and it's like a clay mask. And all you do is rub it on your face. I just used this actually, it's one of my new faves. D and D, um, again, will get you 15% off. And same as always, probiotics, superfoods, prebiotics, all of the good stuff. Now, did I tell you that Deb's also going to grab a couple of ferns for the porch? Um, we're not going to hang them up yet because they will get too whipped up from the wind. But we're going to put... Did I tell you this? <laughs> so I will show you those whenever she gets them and where we're putting them. I'm not hanging up. I swear, I feel like I've talked and told you all of this. We're not hanging them up yet. We're just going to put them by the door. I should probably go back and watch my story so I'm not repeating myself. <laughs> She did that seeding so fast with a little cedar on the back of the Polaris that I did I couldn't even catch her. So she seeded this area a little bit and then this. So we have some. For those of you who are new, the guy who did this land here and put in the driveway and all of that brought in some dirt and then kind of spread it out here. All of this grass came up on accident last year. <laughs> and this is how good it looks. Deb can't grow grass. What I'm saying is stay tuned for this project. Now what is she doing? <laughs> What's she doing, Ives? Oh, she's got a roller. She's gonna roll the grass seed in now. She also thinks this is a good idea. <laughs> Hillbilly.
I just wanted to tell you a little bit about um, these columns. You guys might remember them. We saw them on the marketplace and then left them kind of the natural color, but they were a little bit too orange. So then I painted them. I used uh, raw silk in Fusion Mineral. I did that when we were in the rental. And then these are those boxes, those planters that we made from pallets. So I will um, link that post here where we talked about that. These gooseneck lights are from Lamps Plus. I will link a post where I talked about them. I love them so much. And the fans are from there as well. The, I, I can't, like they're my favorite. I love them. Soon we're gonna figure out what color to paint our door. I love black doors, but I'm just afraid it's going to get really dirty. Tab and I both have been trying to figure that out. So black or white, and the trim is going to be white because the rest of the house has white trim. So I guess I could maybe do black trim and white doors. That might work. Decided that we are going to hang this here. So we're trying to figure out the placement and then I think we're going to hang this cute little cabinet Nastiness. here. Um, when we try to open up the door, it'll knock everything off. So, but we don't really have any place else to put this. It needs to be level with the trim on the top of the door. Here's the top. Yes. And I measured down to this because this. Yes. It's going to slide like that. Wait, doesn't it go the other so way? I would go. Oh yeah, like that. So then you would put this, the back part, on that line. This part, I think, has to yes. go on that, part. on that line. Yes. So that back part will go on that line, the down, the one underneath. That's what I said the foot on. Go. Oh. A little. We're going to have an inch or something over here, an overhang or whatever. Oh, okay. Then that looks good. Do you know? Not really. <laughs> so we made this. I'll, I'll uh, link a post here. We made this out of an old. I don't know. We found this. She made it um, to hang up. We can turn it this way or that way. Sometimes I am with you. So there is where, there's what that looks like. And now I think we might hang this random one up here. I want you to see it though. I don't think you have enough muscle. Don't tell me that. This is why I hate this cabinet. <laughs> the it's rats. got rat. <laughs> Can you see where the stud is down there? Right here. It looks like it should be fine. You want it to go over a little bit more or not? Right there. Now try it. Go ahead. Yes, I love it. Too close? No, not at all. 
I wanted it about as close as the other one. We're off about an inch. Which way does it need to go? I think two and three quarters. Three and three From quarters. From this. You're off an eighth of an inch. <laughs> up a bunch of fun finds on Zulily. Um, I love browsing that site. It's like a brand new store every single day. They have name brand things. They have coach purses. They have Michael Kors. They have pretty much everything. I'm going to link my new post on um, these stories, but I rounded up so many different like categories. So there are several t-shirts, um, different shoes, some garden items from Martha Stewart thing to keep in mind with Zulily, they launched, um, it's called the Joy of Shopping, and they did this several months ago. Um, it means that they offer the best deal on everything. So if you find something on Amazon, amazon.com, or walmart.com at a better price. They will honor that. They also um, have a, this deal where if you buy something and pay for shipping on Friday, you have the entire weekend, the rest of the weekend for free ship. Again, I rounded up a lot of different items on a new post. I'm going to link that here. You need to check it out. Again, they have so many awesome items. I love browsing their site.